This is Monday, October 1st, 2018, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Brennan Tierney, and this is what you need to know. Protesters gathered outside of a Syracuse Dunkin' Donuts today after an employee dumped a video of an employee dumping water on a homeless man went viral. Witnesses say about 20 people protested in front of the coffee shop on North Salina in response to the actions of the Dunkin' employee. That video emerged over the weekend shows an employee dumping a pitcher of water on a homeless man sleeping with his cell phone charging. Uh, some local activists are calling for a boycott of the Syracuse store. The White House spoke about the FBI investigation of Brett Kavanaugh today. President Trump says he wants a detailed yet swift investigation. I want them to do a very comprehensive uh, investigation, whatever that means according to the senators and the Republicans and the Republican majority. Now, with that being said, I'd like it to go quickly because it's unfair to him at this point. Trump says that Kavanaugh and his family have suffered enough from the allegations. The FBI only has one week to investigate the sexual assault allegations. The United States has agreed to a new trade deal with Mexico and Canada. Negotiations between Canada and the United States went right up to last night's deadline. According to the U.S. Trade Representative's Office, the new agreement will allow more U.S. dairy products to enter the Canadian markets and also require 75% of cars parts to be made in North America for the car to be free from tariffs. Mets captain David Wright returned to the Diamond for one last game over the weekend. He's not played a full season since 2012 with a variety of medical issues. Wright was honored prior to Saturday's game and his two-year-old daughter threw out the first pitch. And that's all the news we have for you on Citrus TV now. For the latest, follow us on Twitter at Citrus TV News. I'm Brendan Tierney. Have a good evening, Syracuse.